The pulley system of the flexors can also be scanned, so the patient's hand is placed on the table, on the dorsum of the hand, and we're going to start by scanning the uh, MCP uh, joint, which can be seen uh, right here. So we can see the uh, proximal phalanx uh, right there, we can see the uh, metacarpal uh, head uh, right here, this is the uh, volar plate uh, within the joint, and this is the, uh, the flexor tendon with on top of it the A1 pulley. And the A1 pulley straps the tendon to the joint or to the bone uh, and causes uh, tendon stability, but also, of course, lubrication because uh, within the pulley system uh, uh, around the tendon we also have the uh, tendon sheath. So let's follow the tendon to, uh, to distal. So this was the A1 pulley right there. Now we're going to look for the A2 pulley. The A2 pulley is in the middle uh, of the proximal phalanx. Uh, we can see that the tendon darkens a little bit and is atropic due to the obliquity of the uh, fibers. Um, and the injury could be that there will be a pulley tearing uh, so that the, there is bow stringing, which means that the tendon goes away from the bone, the tendon comes more to superficial, the tendon is not stabilized to the bone, and that will increase distance from tendon to bone. So then the tendon is not strapped to the bone, but the tendon has more a horizontal course and not following the curvature of the bone. And that is an indication indeed that uh, the pulley, the A tuli in this case, has been torn. Of course, we there are more pulleys, so A1, A2, we can look at uh, the A3 pulley, we have an A4 pulley, and in the end also the A5 pulley uh, over the uh, DIP joint. Uh, after having checked uh, the tendon to bone distance and longitudinal, we can also have a check in, um, in this transverse view. Here we can see the uh, convexity of the metacarpal head with the flexor tendon on top, a little bit of volar plate in between, and we can see the tendon sheath and the pulley system on top. Follow, uh, we're going to observe the cross-sectional area of the tendon, but also the thickness of the pulley. Is it uh, uh, increased? Uh, is it torn? And if it's torn, then we might see the, um, yeah, the, uh, the, the tendon to bone distance that that might increase. So in between the metacarpal head and the proximal phalanx, we can see well, no bone, eh? so this means that this is the joint, looking it straight into the MCP joint, and now on top of the mid-shaft of the proximal phalanx, we can see again the cross-sectional area of the flexor tendon with the pulley, and we're going to observe the tendon to bone distance, the cross-sectional area, do we see any fluids surrounding the tendon, and any changes to the pulley thickness.